Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris from Project Mobile here. I'm going to do a hands-on of one of my new favorite applications for Android, and it has to do with comics. Comics are fantastic. Um, you know, the buying the books, buying all the, the volume size books, they're all great. You go to a comic shop, but, but let's be serious. Digital comics are, are the way of the future for comics, just like standard books have been going with ebooks. And uh, I gotta say, it's been pretty disappointing trying to read comics on either your phone or maybe tablets. They're not quite there yet. You know, the, the content providers and I think the applications as a combination have not quite all moved to work together to make it a really good experience for somebody wanting to actually read or buy comics until uh, until I found this application it's called comics so aptly named and uh, it does quite a few things um, for one you can buy comics directly here it has a digital comic store and uh, and uh, more on reading the comics later that's really what the most impressive part of this application is but you can also shop, you know, view and check all this stuff out. Like I said, you buy everything. Uh, it will also locate comics locally. So if you don't want to say buy it in, in in the digital thing, you can click this little button. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll locate you and say, hey, these are the nearest actual comic stores that, I guess, partner with whatever, uh, I guess, Comixology is, is the content provider for this. And here, here are all the most local stores you can check. And then, you know, you can type in your location if, if this isn't correct. Which, which is pretty nice, but you know what, that doesn't entirely cut out the comic shops, because hey, they're pretty cool places, or I guess they can be, depending on your shop. Now, uh, there are three major, I guess, content partners with this application that I found, and one of them is DC Comics, Image Comics, which is probably my favorite, and Archie. I, I don't really know what Archie does, I don't really follow comics that, as much as I used to, but those are the three biggies. I mean, there are other ones, but those are the ones, I guess, most notably mentioning. Now, just to go over the brief UI here, so it's the home screen. It looks just like a, a standard app store. You have your comics here. Here's a whole list of ones coming in. Um, most of the comics I find, at least single issues, are, are two bucks, which I guess is probably pretty standard issue price. These are featured. Um, it'll has a new added section here, so you can check out whatever is new. And here's a nice one, too, free. There are a lot of free comics, which is really important for this application because I think these apps have a lot to prove in terms of usability to actually read comics. So they give you enough comics that you're going to find something you like. So here, look. Look how many comics I'm scrolling through here. You can see you're in the right bar. It's not really going down very fast. A lot of free comics, and you could really scroll fast. So what I suggest is when you get the app, you pick one at least just to give it a try and test it out. Now, once you've had, uh, you know, you purchased uh, some comics or you have some free ones downloaded, you go right here to My Comics. Uh, and this is your, this is sort of your view of, this is what you own does like you know the standard thing I don't know why apps love doing this this is such an inefficient bad way to, to view something but hey you know whatever these are your comics these are all free ones I download just to test it out now you can actually sort it down by like hey say series or or something else the sorting options aren't as 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 probably user friendly as I would like they'll make do though I mean you'll be fine especially if you're only trying to test out a few of them and then up top here here's the stores if you didn't find something you liked here in the feature section you go to the store now. I have one that I want to that I want to show off here. It's a The Walking Dead, kind of one of my favorite ones I've been reading in, in the standard volume edition. So we have The Walking Dead, and the one thing you notice, which is awesome, is that it's The Walking Dead at least. Now I can't say that's the same for a lot of the other comics I looked at. Most of the comics were standard. Uh, 199 and you buy the actual individual issue but I don't know about you guys I'm a bigger fan of just reading them in volumes now I guess on the digital side that's not much of a big deal because it's not taking up any actual space of physical matter space but on the digital side you know it's just nice to own the one big thing that way you're not going in and out of like 20 things and plus you can read a little comic pretty fast The Walking Dead and Robert Kirkman I guess has a lot to do with that is offering volumes here for for you know nine, actually most of them are, are ten bucks. You can check them out. So if you find something you like, you can buy it through the application. Buy it through, or you can even rate it here, and they give a little description of what's going on. And let's just say you didn't search by something that gives you the entire series, and you just want to go um, and you find something individually. It will it will list to you the entire series of what you're looking at. So that way, if you find something you like, oh here's here's everything else. Now I got like I said, um, The Walking Dead seems to be a unique one where it's offering the volumes as well as all the individual issues, and that that is pretty awesome. So I want to show you now probably the coolest part of this application because you know what, anyone can make a pretty decent store. Um, or whoops, anyone can have some pretty decent uh, content as well. 
But what really makes this application special is how it reads comics or, or displays them to you. Because obviously anyone who's read a comic before can say, hey, this is a, this is a Nexus one. This is a 3.7 inch screen. This is not ideal for reading comics. But um, now with that said, with the onslaught, especially the Zoom coming out this Thursday, this may change quite a bit for tablets because you have a much bigger screen. But even still, let's just let's stick with the phone thing for now. So let's just check out a comic here and we want to read it now. It does something pretty unique. So there's a tutorial that I've obviously gone through and it's not going to redo the tutorial where it splits up the screen in, in three sides and say thirds going down this way or if you hold it uh, landscape mode it's like this way. The leftmost side is going to go back. The middle bottom section is your settings. So if I press down, whoops, I guess we have to go into the, the comic. And then if I hit this right side, it's almost like if there was arrows right here and here and then the options is sort of a mysterious down here. It's nice because that way it doesn't clutter up the, a smaller phone screen with UI stuff. So here, let's let's just kind of go through this. So these would sort of be like individual cells if you were reading a comic. And uh, if you keep hitting right, it will pan in and out as you're looking at the comic. It doesn't just give you a giant, uh, it doesn't just give you a giant page and expect you to zoom in and out and stuff. That's that's terrible. That's a bad experience reading comics. This what it does is it sort of takes the time and it focuses on the action of what's going on in the cell. So if I hit right, it's scrolling through the action points. See that normally would be one giant cell, but every time I tap, it goes. This is kind of where the action is. This is where all the text is. And this is, this is fantastic because this really solves the problem of reading comics on a small phone screen because it tells you, hey, this is what's going on. This is what you need to miss or what, you're, what you aren't missing. And so you don't have to scroll around. And even if you want to, you can. You can zoom in or you can double tap something if you wanted to get a closer look. But for the most part, just tapping, going along like this, it tells you and it shows you exactly what's going on. It's really nice. It's sort of in a way like an animated comic, something you'd see on like PSN. They, they really do a, a really good job of that. And that's what I find to be most impressive with this application. Now, a couple things I do want to mention to you because I kind of got a little befuddled by this. So you download all these free comics and I downloaded pretty much anything I had any interest in just to show you guys this. Let's say you're going to get rid of them. Well, you, it's not a mer um, immediately obvious how to delete a comic. You can't like long tap something, at least not that I could found. If you go into the settings and you go into reading preferences, whoops, manage storage. Um, it's going to download all these to an SD card. So it's going to tell you how much do you want to actually have allotted on your phone to download comics. You can change that. Now this is where you go. This is where you would go to de delete individual comics. Now, remember why I said I like, buy, I like to buy volumes again? Yeah, this is why. Um, there is not really a good multi-select way to do it. You're just really long pressing, and that's how you're going to delete a comic. So, you like those volumes? That's why I always buy them in that. But that, that's how you do it. I just figured I'd tell you guys that because it, it took me a little while and a little research to figure out how to exactly get this far and do this. But it's, it's a pretty cool app. And especially on Android, you now have an application that will do DC Comics and Marvel Comics. Um, the Marvel one is called Graphically, which I would recommend checking out. I'll probably do a hands-on video with that some other time. But this is, this is the DC Comics side. It's very good. And I'm looking forward to really trying this out on an Android tablet because comics on a tablet have to be good or else, I don't know, that's, that's a pretty big bummer. All right, every guy, all right guys, uh, check out everything else later on uh, projectmobile.com. Thank you.